Hey guys, today I'm going to show you five Squires that I think are better than their Fender counterparts. <laughs> When you review a lot of gear, you start noticing that the brand really has little to no effect of the overall quality of the instrument. Really, the fit and finish is by the manufacturer or the factory and the components that they use. So for today's video, we're going to go through Squires and Fender's components to see now that Fender's upgraded the Squires yet again, do they actually make more sense to buy the Squire over the Fender? But we're not going to take account two things, resale value, which will be definitely driven by brand, and country of manufacturer, because again, those things don't always drive the quality. First up, we have the Fender Player Series Telecaster and a Squire Classic Vibe Telecaster, both in butterscotch blonde. And what's great about these guitars is they're almost the same specifications. They both have a synthetic bone nut, they both have nine and a half inch radius fretboards, modern C neck carves, both have gloss polyester finishes, both have Alnico 5 pickups, but that's where it starts to change. The Fender does have an extra fret, and it also has a slightly wider nut, which are both very nice features. But the Squire has vintage style tuning keys and a vintage style bridge with brass saddles, and it comes in a pine body. Now, although the alder body is the more traditional body wood with the Fender, the pine body on the Squire is interesting because Fender offers pine bodies on Telecasters in their custom shop and in limited edition runs. So it's unique to see it in this style guitar. The interesting point about this is for $275 less, it's almost the same featured instrument. So it's really interesting to see how much brand power that Fender logo brings. Next up, we have the Fender Mustang versus the new 2019 Squire Classic Vibe Mustang. Now in first inspection, you'll see they're only $150 difference in price. So for $150, you can definitely get a Fender versus a Squire and that's a good value. However, when you go deeper into the specifications, you'll see that the new Squire is really toting some cool features. Now they have a lot of specifications that are the same. They both have a nine and a half inch radius fretboard and they both have a C-shaped profile neck. They also have the same nut width. It does have a poplar body versus the Fender's alder body. And we understand in a traditional sense, the alder is the more traditional wood used for the guitars. However, this is where it's gonna get really interesting for the Squire. The Squire actually has a bone nut versus the synthetic plastic bone nut that the Fender has. The Squire is also labeled with having Fender Alnico single coil pickups, where the Fender is labeled with angled single coil pickups with cover, which is very vague. The Squire also has the original floating bridge with the vibrato system versus the string through system on the Fender guitar. The other thing is the control layout on the Squire is accurate. It has a master volume, a master tone, on off for neck and bridge, in and out of phase for the bridge and neck pickups, where the Fender just has one volume, one tone, and a three-way toggle switch. Ultimately, why I thought the Squire was a better proposition than the Fender right now is because it has the vintage hardware, the vintage specifications. But more importantly, I love the narrow tall frets that they put on the new American Professional Series, and now the Squire has it as well. So bone nut, narrow tall frets, and vintage hardware, I thought it was a clear winner. Next up is a Fender 72 Telecaster Deluxe versus a Squire Classic Vibe 70s Telecaster Thin Line. Now, I know what you're thinking. These aren't the same guitars. And I understand that, but these are the two guitars I wanted to compare, and I'll explain some of my logic later. Now, of course, the main thing I want to talk about with these two guitars is that the Squire is $400 versus $825. So it is half the price of the Fender, and it comes in a semi-hollow body, which is an added feature. At first look, same thing. Uh, there's some interesting selections that they did with these models. But what I love is, again, the Squires have had some serious updates. The Squire has a bone nut versus the Fender synthetic bone. The Squire has the narrow tall frets, which are again found on the high-end American Fenders now versus the medium jumbos that are available on the Fender uh, made in Mexico. The interesting terminology I keep seeing with the Squires is now they're saying Fender wide range humbuckers or Fender pickups, where the Fender guitars aren't saying Fender. Maybe it's because it's just redundant to say Fender pickups and a Fender guitar. I think it's funny that the marketing has now shifted to say Fender a lot of times on the components on the Squires. Now, even though both have vintage style tuners, I noticed in the Squires, they're stating that the Squire hardware is nickel. So it's an interesting because it has a really different patina than the chrome finish, giving it a nicer aesthetic. Now, in this particular case, the reason why I wanted to compare them was because of body materials. Sure, the, the Fender has the alder body, but in this particular case, this has the soft maple. So specification wise, the Squire is just clearly a very good instrument for half the price. 
Now for this comparison, I'm going to use three guitars. I'm going to use the Fender Classic Player Jazz Master, which is a classic series. It's made in Mexico, and it's made to be more like a vintage accurate instrument. You have the Fender Player Series, which is not supposedly supposed to be so vintage accurate. And of course, the uh, Squire Classic Vibe 60s. Now for this comparison, I'm really going to focus the Squire versus the Classic uh, made in Mexico. But we'll we'll look at all three. You can see there's a, definitely a different different price comparison with the $400 to $600 to $800 price range. So let's look at the specifications and see why I thought the Squire had really brought something to the show. Now, obviously, in this comparison, it's pretty straightforward. They all have nine and a half inch radius fretboards. They all have maple necks. They're all 25 and a half inch scale. They all have the same nut spacing. Again, this is a big deal for Squire. This was something not available before. Squire had a narrower nut spacing, so it didn't feel the same as the Fender. Now, some players are going to miss that because the narrower spacing gave smaller hands maybe a better feel, but... Overall, I don't think a lot of people are going to notice or care. Both main Mexicos will use the traditional alder body, where the Squire is going to be using poplar. And again, the Squire is going to be using gloss polyurethane compared to the main Mexicos that are using polyester. And again, those are finishes that I think are comparable. I can't really argue in my mind that one finish is better than another in those particular finishes. But again, the Squire got a lot of good upgrades this year. The bone nut, again, over the synthetic bone of the other two. And of the three models, the Player Series has Alnico 2 pickups, but they're humbuckers, so they're not accurate to the Jazzmaster. The Jazzmaster Classic has hot Jazzmaster single coils, which I believe to be ceramic pickups. So interestingly enough, the Squire is the only one to have the correct Alnico style Jazzmaster pickups in the guitar. So again, combined with some other features, it really stands out. Next up, we have the Fender Player Series Stratocaster versus the Squire Contemporary Stratocaster. Now, this one's really tricky for me because I own both these guitars and I like them. But the reason why I'm giving the edge to Contemporary Strat is for a couple of reasons. I really like some of the features they did on this, and I wish they would add this to the Fender lineup. The Contemporary Strat has a 12-inch radius fretboard, which is flatter than the 9.5-inch Fender. It has a rosewood fretboard, which is not available on the Made in Mexico Fender Strats anymore. They use Peo Ferro. They both have 22 frets, but I like the jumbo frets on the Squire versus the medium jumbos on the Fender. The scale length and nut width are the same, and they both use synthetic bone. But the other thing I love about the Contemporary is it uses the ceramic pickups, the pickups that they used to basically use in the Made in Mexicos before they upgraded to the Alnico 5s. Now, although I understand upgrading to Alnico 5s to make them more like the American series fenders, I really like the ceramic pickups back in the old Mexican strats because I thought they were punchier and bassier. I'm also a fan of the block saddles. I like the two-point tremolo on both guitars, but I like the block saddles better on the Squire. I also like the convenience of the easier controls, just the volume and tone, but I really love the painted headstock and the colors as well. There you have it. Those are my five Squires that I think are better than Fenders based on their specifications and quality, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know if you agreed with me or disagreed with me and why, and let me know if there's other Squires that you think I should have mentioned. And as always, thank you for spending some time hanging out and having some fun talking about gear. And until next time, know your gear.